So today, I am going to try to turn into some of the most famous characters of the game Five Nights at Freddy's, Security Breach Ruin. Oh, really? But first, make sure you subscribe to this channel and grab pen and paper. Feel free to also write FNAF on the comments section if you would like more Freddy's ID costumes code videos. Now, let's go into the pizzeria located inside the movie's building. Enter the storage room and once here, we are ready to start with our first character. So, let's start by deselecting my panda dad hair, the ears, and the plushie. Then let's open the ID section and introduce our first code 1444-425-9775 to get this upgraded Glamrock Freddy Fazbear top from the FNAF Security Breach Edition. If we write ID code 843-848-8829, we will get the matching pants. Next, let's open the accessory search tab and look for a void head. Select the first one, and then let's continue looking for a Glamrock Bear animatronic. You will find this one that looks good on our bear, but if you prefer, deselect this one, and pick this other one that looks more like the ruined Glamrock Bear animatronic. Once you find it and upload to our avatar, this is how our ruined Freddy looks. Cool, right? To finish up, let's just open the color palette and adjust the skin to this tone. And here is the ruined version of our Glamrock Freddy featuring decayed elements, wear and tear, and a darker aesthetic. I really like the fact that Freddy is one of the most important infamous characters in the Ruin, a Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach DLC expansion that was released on July 2023. The friendly Glamrock Freddy is the counterpart of Freddy Fazbear, the vocalist of the Glamrock band, and the mascot of Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pisiplex. Let's deselect all Ruin head, but leave the void one. Then, after opening the ID box to introduce code 1419-822, or 772 to get this Glamrock Bonnie top, also from the FNAF Security Breach game. But if you prefer the ruined version, write instead ID code 1433-197-3555. And I think it looks perfect. Then, let's keep including ID code 1446-086-1745 to get the ruined matching pants. Next, let's go to the accessories bar and search for Glamrock Rabbit animatronic. If you uploaded it, Bunny looks great. But I think we should deselect this head and instead look for the ruined Bonnie version. After find it and it uploads to our avatar, let's also adjust our skin tone on the color palette to this one dot, and I think that our ruined Bonnie looks awesome. Next, to try another FNAF character, let's deselect the Bonnie head, and then open the ID box to introduce code 1409-011-3351 to get this colorful top for Glamrock Foxy and follow up with ID code 1409-011-3351. 6767 to add these matching pants to our avatar. Then, open the accessories search bar to look for the Glamour Rockstar Fox head. Pick this one. Fantastic. To finish it up, open the color palette and adjust your skin to this reddish one. I think it looks great. How about you? If you prefer, you can deselect the head and search instead for the, the Fox animatronic head. And here is our Glamrock Foxy, which has traits similar to most Foxy variants, having red fur with beige accents, and is an animatronic performer. For our next FNAF character, Let's deselect the head and then on the ID box if we introduce code 863-587-9160 we will be able to add this Glamrock Chica top outfit and then follow up by writing ID code 864-009-0827 to get the matching pants. Next, open the accessory search tab and look for the Glamrock Chicken. Let's pick this head and our character looks cool. Let's also look for a blue star guitar. Pick this one up. Great. And lastly, let's adjust his color skin to this white one. Take a look. If you want something more extreme, deselect the head and look instead for the broken chicken animatronic. And after you select it, here is how she looks. Feel free to tell me what you think of this face. To move on into a different Five Nights at Freddy's character, let's deselect the head and the guitar. Then, after opening the ID box, let's introduce code 847-836-1793 to get this Roxanne Wolf top outfit and then follow up by writing ID code 853-861-5769 to get the matching bottom and complete her outfit. We will also need to go to the accessories tab and search first for a Rox Glam Rock Wolf head. Click on this one and pick also this hair with a green part along with this fluffy arctic fox tail. Take a look! I think all the elements fit her perfectly. Missing up is her lion keytar, so after search from it, select and check how it is placed on her back. And I think our Roxanne Wolf is ready. She is another OT the Glamrock animatronics who appears in Five Nights at Freddy's, Security Breach as an antagonist. She also returns as a minor antagonist and side character in the Ruin DLC. Cool! Now, to move into our next avatar, Let's deselect all the items, the head, the hair, the tail, and the guitar. Then, after opening the ID box, let's introduce code 1169-729-1576 to get this Montgomery Gator green top. Following up with ID code 1169-712-9788 to complete the matching bottom pants. Now, let's go to the color tab and adjust our figure skin tone to this greenish one. 
Great! Next, open the accessories bar and search for the gator animatronic and you will have two heads to pick from. Let's try this one first and see how it looks. Then, let's deselect it and pick the other head. And take a look! Feel free to pick the one you like most! And here we have our Glamrock animatronic Montgomery Gator Avatar, who is also known as Monty. He appears in Five Nights at Freddy's, Security Breach and Ruin as one of the secondary antagonists. Let's try to make another character, for that we have to deselect the gator face. Then, on the ID box let's introduce ID code 1438-606-8679 to get this grayish top for Vanny. And for the bottom matching part we need to include ID code 656-012. 3002. Looking great! We also need to go to the color palette and adjust the skin tone to this gray shish. Then, go to the accessories bar to search for a Vanny head. Pick this one and here we have our Vanny, the main antagonist of Five Nights at Freddy's, security breach and a follower of the digital virus Glitchtrapand. She wears a white bunny costume that is stitching all over it, with a large pink tartan stitching on her left hip. Now let's deselect the head and try to make the heavily destroyed variant of the daycare attendant. For that let introduce code 837. 753-2131 to get the Sunrise Top Shirt, followed by ID code 837-753-7321 to add the matching pants. If you want, you can try an even more colorful outfit. For that, simply add ID code 656-007-5437 for the top and then continue using ID code 656-007-3591 for the pants. And here you have it. I think I prefer this version. Now, let's open the accessories tab to search for a big sun head. I like how it is turning out. Optionally, you can also go back to the ID box and introduce code 892-363-1189 to also place these red ruffles on our character. I think it is too much so let me deselect it and go to the color palette to adjust the skin color to match the rest of the outfit. And here is the daycare attendant, also known as Sun and Energizing Candy. It is the fifth animatronic in the Pisiplex. A lanky astronomy-themed animatronic. He dons a jester-like outfit with extremely baggy pants, frills around his neck and waist, ribbons on each hand attached with bells and jester shoes. His face resembles a sun and moon occult symbol and is surrounded by plastic light rays. But since the daycare attendant has two personalities, let's deselect the head and open the ID box so that we can introduce code 946-089-3870 and get this moon moon drop shirt followed by ID code 1426-719-3730 to get the matching Moondrop pants. Now, we also need to open the color palette to adjust our skin color to this bluish and then, open the accessories bar to search for a moon head. Select this one and here we have our Moondrop daycare attendant who is the mascot of another type of candy, which also has the description of being the sleepy time candy since this candy seems to be a form of supplement to help kids sleep. Next, if we deselect the Moondrop head and open the ID box to introduce code 908, 586-5867 we will be able to get the top part for another glam rock character. This time is Mr. Hippo. Then, keep including ID code 931-402-7323 to add Mr. Hippo matching pants. Next, if we open the accessories bar we can search for a hippo head and this one seems to fit our Mr. Hippo body well. Let's also continue by looking into a top hat for him too. There are several options, but pick this one with white. Perfect! And here, we have our glam rock Mr. Hippo version, who is a minor animatronic only seen in a newspaper article ending of security breach revealing that he has taken Monty's place as the bassist, while Monty takes the role of Glamrock Freddy as the lead singer of the band. Please let me know which other Five Nights at Freddy should I do next and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now! Bye!